<laughs> Thank you. Good on you, Mr. Buckingham. Thank you, Chair. <laughs> Treasurer, for the last seven years, New South Wales Treasury's royalty forecasts for coal have been wildly optimistic and out by billions of dollars, with even the Minerals Council saying Treasury are making, and I quote, heroic assumptions about the recovery of the coal price. Can you explain, Treasurer, why your, why your coal royalty forecasts have been so consistently wrong by billions of dollars, while New South, why New South Wales has no carbon abatement plan, why New South Wales Treasury has no climate change modelling, and... Treasurer, most importantly, are you, Treasury, and the New South Wales Government living in an irresponsible fantasy land when it comes to climate change and coal? Right. I'll try and answer all of those questions. Um, firstly, can I say from memory, and I'm sure the Treasury officials will correct me if I'm wrong, but we're actually putting a downward forecast on our mining royalties to, to the tune of about $1.2 billion well, no, that's over wrong. the Ford estimates. That's wrong. So you don't know that. You're wrong. Hold on. Hold on. Well, that, can you, can you just... The question, can you just... I trust the Treasurer's assessment. Yeah, but I will, um, I, will, I, will seek, uh, I will seek advice on that. Oh, here we go. Um, yes, it says uh, the royalties over the next four years uh, are to be $1.7 billion less than forecast in the 15-16 budget. So I was off by half. I, was off, I said 1.2. It's actually 1.7 less than what we'd forecasted in the previous budget. So there is a reduction, uh, and it reflects coal prices and also coal export growth, which has been partially offset by a lower Australian-US foreign exchange rate. So I was actually correct. So what we'd forecasted in 15-16, we've actually down graded by $1.7 billion. For memory, I thought it was one point two. It's actually $1.7. So in the next four years, we'll be getting $1.7 billion less than what we'd assume the previous year due to the factors I've outlined. Coal prices, the exchange rate, and, and partly volume. And heroic assumptions around coal that were well, made up until very recently. Well, I'm not going to comment. You can make those, comment. you can make those comments. That's your call. No, that, that's will... a comment of the New South Wales Minerals Council. Well, well, that's fine. That's, that's, I'm, I'm, all, I'm interested as treasurer, what I'm interested in is um, the facts that, that that go into our budget, the facts that go around our forecasting, and, isn't and fact, I'm Minister, and I'm the, the, and also the coal is in structural finish. decline. Mr. Buckingham, well, and you, you, that you're reluctant to acknowledge that that there's a there's a perceived <laughs> reluctance. The chair is making a ruling. Please listen. Just let the treasurer um, in any there's no answer. point of order. Let her finalise her answer. The chair is chairing this meeting. <laughs> in any event, um, is he? I thought you were. In any event, Mr. Buckingham, you you asked me a question and you said I was wrong, which I wasn't, based on the fact you 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 assume that we're assuming an increase in mining royalties over the forward estimates. But I'm telling you that based on our 15, 16 forecasts, we have put down our 16, 17 forecasts by the tune of 1.7 billion dollars over the forward estimates. Less, and, so, so less increase. Correct. Yeah. 1.7 billion dollars. Yeah. But it's still yeah. an increase. Clearly. Yes, but it's yeah. it's it's less than what we anticipated we'd get in the previous year. Do you accept that, that this coal is in structural rather than cyclical decline in terms of? Well, you know, I'm interested in the factors which um, which cause variations uh, in the budget position. Some of the questions you've raised are, are questions for government, but they're more relevant to be put to my colleague, the Minister for the Environment. I'm happy to answer questions in relation to economic impact. So you're position. climate change has no role in the economy, in, in no, Treasury? No, that's not what I said at all. I actually said the opposite. I actually <laughs> said my job is to assess the financial impacts of commodities and climate change and environmental factors on the budget. And, my how, job, are you, and how are you doing that? Are you modelling those impacts? Because you said before you weren't modelling those impacts. So well, how I'm are just, you doing that? Yeah, yeah I'm just, I'll, I'll repeat some of the, the points I made in my previous answer. We are doing that by looking at factors such as the impact of the exchange rate, the impact of demand, the impact of volume, and the, the impact of other factors which may affect um, the bottom line in terms of royalty. So we look at all the factors which impact the budget position, but clearly as a government, um, the Minister for Environment has, has other considerations along the lines of the questions you asked. My job is to look at the financial impacts and ensure that we prioritise resourcing 
in relation to those matters. But, um, you know, as I explained to you, um, that uh, we, we put a downward forecast on the quantum of royalties we'd receive over the forward estimates. And in 16-17 budget, um, the budget papers actually indicate there'll be a downward revision of $1.7 billion compared to the position in the previous year. Thank you, Treasurer. You were spruiking your position on renewable energy before. Do you think mandatory yeah. renewable energy targets help drive economic development and renewable energy in New South Wales? Well, there's a number of things that do, of which that's one. I mean, there's no doubt if a government sends out a message to say we want to uh, have a particular component of our energy sourcing done by renewables, that obviously sends a message to people. But as do a number of other factors. So mandatory renewable energy targets are? Well, we're, we're, we have a target. And we don't, you know, as... Our target is a target, um, and but it's not uh, mandatory, is it? Well, I personally, I personally uh, would not support that as treasurer. I wouldn't support mandatory, but I do support, obviously, support targets. And um, why not mandatory ones? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure how that's a budget question. That's just a personal view. But I'm, but I'm very comfortable with the target we've set, and I'm comfortable that we'll meet that target. Well, the federal government's got a mandatory one. ACT's got a mandatory one. Well, Victoria's got a one. And is it not the case that one of the biggest economic drivers in this state could well be renewable energy. It's a booming part of the economy, part of driving economic development in this state. And yet, the thing that's driving wind power in this state is the ACT's mandatory renewable energy target. Is that not the case? Well, look, I say to you, um, some of those questions you raise are more appropriately directed to the Minister for the Environment. I'm more than happy to answer financial questions regarding the budget, mining royalties, um, as I've done. So, but, but there are some That's policy... a really interesting thing, actually, Treasurer, yeah. that, you, that you don't think that renewable... En you think that energy... Uh, uh, renewable energy is the ballywick of the of the Environment Minister and has no, nothing to do no. with the budget bottom line, economic development or the fact that there is no line item in the budget for to stimulate ec the economic That's not true. Well, That's what, not true. What, what, how, can I refer you to, um, if I'm not been? mistaken, can I refer you to the industry cluster in budget paper number uh, three, I think it is, mm -hmm. um, which actually talks about uh, renewables. So I how, much, how many hundreds of millions of dollars or tens of millions of dollars are you putting into the... Uh, is in the budget to stimulate renewable energy development in this state. Well, How does that compare with Victoria or South Australia? Or yeah, I don't have state-by-state state comparisons and they don't form part of the budget, but I can tell you this, that we have specific targets as a government. You asked me a question based on the assumption that mining royalties were going to go up based on our previous forecast, and I've advised you that is not the case. They're not going up. No, 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 no. You had said to me that they will continue to go up more than what we had said. And I said to you that is the opposite position because we revised down our forecast for mining royalties over the forward estimates yeah. in in sixteen seventeen compared to fifteen sixteen, which was to refute the claim you were making. Thank you, Minister. In Minister, relation to energy, that, Minister, I've got limited time, so I'm sorry. Thank you, yeah. Minister. Do you think that coal seam gas will play an important role in economic development in the state over the next uh, over the, the coming years? I think the government's made its views on that issue very clear. And what are they? Well, you should refer to what. Um, um, the Minister for Environment has said about that. We do, uh, we appreciate the community concerns in relation to that, and we've responded. In fact, we inherited. Uh, I was talking about economic development. Do you? No, think no, no. You weren't. You tr you're, you're kind of changing. I, I said the question was, yeah. uh, Treasurer, do you think coal seam gas will play an important role in economic development in the state? No. You asked me a question. Do I think it's going to provide economic development? No. Oh, thank you. That's a zinger. Well, right there. Yeah, it's a thank zinger. What, I don't know what you mean by economic... I don't know what your impression... Head on of, down to chaos. I don't know what your impression of economic development is, but when we look at sources of what will most stimulate our economy... So you don't think that Anthony Roberts has been saying that it's essential to economic development in this, in this no, state you, and driving down... Hang on, down hang on. Price. They're two different that things. Wasn't the question, no, no, no. They're two different things. You said to me... You, you, the impression I formed from your question was, is it in my thinking that... Over
the raw strategically, that is one of the top things that I would think about. Well, no, my job is to look at the levers which actually generate economic development generally. Industry is one. Uh, there are a whole bunch of factors which, which determine economic development. But if you're asking me whether, um, whether that is in my realm of responsibility and area specifically, I would, I would say that is not what takes up a lot of my time in terms of determining what is economic development in New South Wales. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got here. I got the... Treasurer, there's been some... Uh...